Hey everybody, it's Christopher Hunt here at the Colonial Ranch, and I've been getting a lot of um, questions about how we house our um, Hermans and our Russian tortoises and box turtles outdoors um, during the winter time, uh, the colder months. So I just want to make a quick video just to show you an idea of what we do here at the Colonial Ranch here in southern Indiana. As you can see behind me, we got our first snow of the season. Um, it's about uh, about maybe an inch to two inches in some areas. Um, and all the turtles are, uh, and tortoises out here are um, hunkered down for the, for the winter. They're ready for brumation. They're already um, dug down into the dirt and uh, they're brumating. So let me show you what I do to make sure that they're safe and protected for the winter time. These are um, our um, cold frames. Now there's a lot of other cold frames that are out there that are better put together than ours. Um, these are just quick temporary cold frames um, just for this year. Next year we're going to make um, some actually really nice ones, uh, ones that are more permanent. Um, but just to show you what we have here, lift these up and we, we have hay in here. And under the hay, like right here, this one's uh, one of our Russian tortoises, that's our female. Um, so they, they bury down here and then of course we cover them with dry hay and uh and these cold frames go on top of them now these cold frames don't stop them from freezing um but this is polycarbonate same stuff that they use in um uh, greenhouses and during the day it'll warm up inside the box enough um to keep the temperatures from getting too low for them um but you know russian tortoises and herman's tortoises from their geographical location where they they originate um it gets actually pretty cold down there and can even snow as well so they do pretty good here in southern Indiana. Uh, we've never had any issues. We've never lost any. They've never died. They brew made just fine. And then um, uh, in the springtime, of course, um, they they wake up. We remove these, and uh, they're all good. They get back out in their habitat. So um, these are the um, Herman's tortoises, Russian tortoises, and these are the box turtles. Now, the box turtles don't have to have cold frames. Um, you know, here in, in southern Indiana, they actually, you know, live out in the woods um, and they hide under leaf litter, uh, bury down into the ground and under logs and things like that. But we still like to um, make cold frames for them as well. This is a barrel we don't have a cold frame for yet, but we're, we're going to make one. Uh, like I said, the, this is the first year that the um, Colonia Ranch has expanded as much as it has. We've taken in uh, probably, I want to say, a total of 40 to 50 uh, turtles this year alone in the last six months. So uh, we're growing very quickly, and so we needed more housing in this section. This is our um, uh, northern section, our north wing, if you want to call it of uh, tortoise enclosures and then of course we have our 20,000 volt um, solar power electric fence and it's got two two fence lines here there's one on top and uh, one along the edges um, even though it gets covered up with snow it does still work um, and this protects all of our turtles during the winter time because you know there's still you know uh, animals predators that could uh, you know get hungry for a, one of our turtles I guess but our turtles are covered inside their uh, cold frame, so even if an animal did get in here, they're safe. Nothing's going to lift these up and, and get to them. But. So there you have it. Um, like I said, we've been getting questions about how we house them um, during the winter months. And so that's what we do. Uh, again, next year we'll create better cold frames than what we have. Uh, but these are temporary for this year because this is a, a new section that we've just built <clears throat> this year. So uh, we didn't have enough cold frames, so I just I put these together. But the concept is still the same. We use polycarbonate plastic sheets uh, on top, the same stuff that you use for um, greenhouses. Um, and then the sides, the walls, the box itself um, is made out of um, uh, two by sixes. Um, and so they're, they're two inches thick or a little less than two inches, but uh, around that. And then we put straw and hay in there. And then of course, that's after the turtles are already buried down into the ground. So they're safe. They'll do just fine for the winter. And then in spring, we'll uncover them and say hello to them again. So uh, if you get a chance, uh, check out our website. There's a link you can click on that says store. You can see merchandise that we have. Um, this is one of our new sweaters. Uh, it's got the Colonial Ranch logo on here to uh, support the ranch. 
Um, so please, if, if this uh, video has helped you, if you like it, uh, give it a like and subscribe and follow us for more. Thanks a lot.